Hello and welcome to a tabletop bellhop cardboard coat check. Though in this case, I guess it's more like a card game coat check, but whatever. I am Mo Tuzano, the tabletop bellhop, your cardboard concierge, here to answer your gaming and game night questions and working with you to make your game night better. Today, that question is what's in the box in regards to this? This is the Treasure Hunter Hero set for Adventuria Adventure Card Game. Now, the Adventuria Adventure Card Game is a fantastic card game from Ulysses Spiel, who I have to thank for sending a review copy of the game, as well as this expansion and some other. Uh, no other compensation was provided, but man, they sent me a lot of stuff, and I love it. Adventure is my favorite of the adventure card games that are out here yet, and these expansions are really cool. What they do is they give you one new hero to play in either dual mode or cooperative mode, and a short story to play in uh, cooperative adventure mode featuring that character. So one new character to play, which technically ups the player count beyond the original box of four, Though we don't recommend you go above six total if you do have multiple of these hero sets. So what I'm here to do today is to crack this open and take a look at what you get in the Treasure Hunter hero set for the Adventure Adventure card game, which is required to play with this expansion. So here we have my copy. First thing we got to do is get the shrink wrap off. Here we go. Uh, we'll flip a quick look at the box. Small box. You're probably not going to keep once you get this open, you're probably going to store the cards with the rest of your Aventurian cards and whatever storage solution you've come up with. So what we have on the top is the same thing we get in all of these small expansion box. We have a small booklet, which gives you the adventure. There's really not a lot of lead up to it. You have a small, short adventure um, that is up to five other Aventuria heroes. So again, this place is an adventure specifically designed for six players. You've got the story. You've got what cards you're going to need to play. You have challenges that you're going to take. Um, this is anyone who's played Adventure is going to know about it, but it did add in a new thing called research tests, which I thought was cool. I love the way new rules are being introduced to Adventure through these small expansions. Uh, we're looking at we're up to three chapters, four chapters, five chapters to this particular one. Six. We're still going. OK, not so short adventure. We're up to eight chapters. Nine chapters, 10, wow, okay. A significantly long adventure, not a short adventure. 10 chapters to get to the end of this one. And then some information on the new character who is obviously inspired by some pop culture uh, archeologist. Then we have the deck of cards that comes with this, which will be your new hero, as well as the cards for the story. So we're gonna get this out of the way. We're going to see if there's a quick way to open these because eventually is usually really good for this. Look at that. Love it. Boom. So here we have our new hero. Our new hero is equally good at melee and ranged, but has no magic, which is not surprising. So you have our new hero here who is, what is his name? Meridinia Bornski. He is a Festunumian explorer who starts with a bullwhip. His special ability is once per combat, discard one endurance card to take two fate as per the regular rules. That can be really good. Fate gives you rerolls. So that is his basic character card. He's got a dodge of six. So pretty average stats. He's going to hit more than half the time, but you're going to want to bump him up. Then we have his skills and his highest skill are knowledge, stealth, and survival. Those are his 12s. He is not great at willpower or craft. Then we have a rule card added for him. So he must have some kind of special rules just for him. We have the health tracker, where you combine this with this to say he has 33 health. Then we get into his deck. So I am not going to go through all of it, but he includes, there should be some overlap cards from the original set and brand new cards. The cards that show um, his symbol in a certain color will, will be unique to him. Only he can use them. So we have a scholar, of course, the, the Balahon hat. Astronomy, history, heavy leather jacket, cultural knowledge, a torch, spade, daredevil. I got to say, these are all very thematic and feeding. Um, South Pointer. Interesting, it's called the South Pointer. Not a compass. Um, soldier of fortune, geography, more weapons. Uh, there's a blowgun, fox sense, machete, leather boots. Disarm, so we're getting into skills. Bullhorn. I think that's a... Nope, sorry, Born Thorn. Great Healing Potion. 
Elixir of Constitution. So now you'll see they're white. These are generic cards that technically can be used by any character that you can also use to deck build the other characters. So we have Elixirs, Poisons, Acrobatics, Self-Control. These are ones that bump your stats. Uh, sleight of Hand. A lot of the normal cards you've probably already seen in the other Adventuria sets. Adventure. I don't recognize Hand of Sand. Danger Sense. Light Crossbow. Golden Idol. Oh, these are reward cards. So these are reward cards that are unique to this character. So these are rewards that you can earn while playing the adventure. Now we also have contacts. Interesting. I've never seen a contact card in Adventuria before, so I'm interested to see how these work. There are three different contacts in here. Oh, they're specific for the adventure. Okay, so now we're into the adventure cards. So the Pearl Raider cards. You've got various Pearl Raider cards. Oh, the, there's some like handouts, player handouts here, different letters. Very neat. Yeah, this is this is not a short adventure. Um, two new reward cards to toss into your adventure. These get shuffled in with the rest of them. Uh, what I did not see is any new henchmen. I love getting new henchmen. Slight disappointment. No new henchmen in this Aventuria hero deck. So there you have it. The Treasure Hunter hero pack for Aventuria. Another character you can play and a significant adventure playthrough for Aventuria, the adventure card game set in the world of the Dark Eye. I love Aventuria adventure card game and any expansion that adds new content to it is welcome. What you get here is a full adventure and a new character to play. No new henchmen, but there are some new reward cards to shuffle in with your existing reward cards, which is also a nice find. And of course, a new character to play, which includes their unique cards that can only use that character, but also a bunch of generic cards that can be used for deck building as well. So if you like just playing with a set deck, you can just play with this hero right out of the box. But if you're into deck construction and building decks and building combos beforehand, you're getting more cards to do that as well. So I do love the fact that every one of these gives me more options for my favorite heroes as well as a new hero to play. The character looks pretty neat. Um, he's got his own unique abilities. And I got to say, the adventure looks really interesting. It includes a new research rule. So I am looking forward to checking this out. Now, when I do get this to the table, I will be talking about it on social media where I can be found everywhere as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. Um, we'll talk about it on our podcast, the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, which you can find on your podcatcher of choice, as well as on the Tabletop Bellhop blog, where I'll eventually do up a written review of this expansion. And I'll be sharing a video on demand version of our podcast segment on YouTube. So whether you want to watch it, listen to it or read it, you'll get to hear all about Aventuria. Treasure Hunter Hero Set. That's it for me. Good day and game on.